I'm wearing my Sunday best. God, what the fuck happened to me? Look at this. Young man out there, let this be a lesson to you. Don't let this happen to you. Do not turn out like this. Die young. Engage in risky, fatal uh, fun out there. Don't end up like this. <sighs> in other news, how would you like to invest in a gold and silver mine in Mexico? What? You think that'd be batshit crazy? You think that would obviously be a scam? You would. You're telling me only a complete moron would invest in that? Would send the company selling that investment opportunity? Nobody would be stupid enough to send money to them for shares in their business. Boys and girls, do I have an investment opportunity for you? Southridge Minerals, Inc. Authorized shares, one billion. Outstanding shares, shares that have been issued, shares that have been sold to 129 people. 545,874,868 shares at one-tenth of a penny each, which, if you do the math, is $545,875. Incorporated in the state of Nevada in the year 2004, this company acquisitions and develops gold and silver mines in Mexico. And if you believe that, I will be kind and not say. So, Securities and Exchange Commission have halted all trading on this company's stock. The De United States Department of Justice is looking for the officers of this company. The Federal Trade Commission is looking for the officers of this company. And of course, the Securities and Exchange Commission are certainly looking for the officers of this country, but the officers seem to have vanished. Go figure! The business lists two offices, one in Dallas, Texas, and one in Mexico, I believe around Guadalajara, neither of which are actual offices where these people do any business. They went to the Dallas, Te the Securities Exchange Commission investigators went to the Dallas, Texas office, which was, many years ago, a mail drop for this corporation. There have actually been no offices rented or leased to this corporation for years, nine years or so. So, they got in uh, uh, touch with the Mexican authorities, and then they, the Securities Exchange Commission investigators went to the Guadalajara address for this business which is listed on the fifth floor of a small office building and investigators discovered there is no fifth floor. Who could have guessed that? Mexican authorities have no record of this business having any mineral claims anywhere in Mexico. No mineral um, workings at the mines listed they went and investigated the mines, haven't been worked in uh, decades at least. No permits to extract any minerals in Mexico. No permits to ship any minerals inside within Mexico. No permits to ship any minerals outside of Mexico. And no fifth floor! Uh, a lady at the uh, business who's been there for four years said, there is no fifth floor. Maybe it's a fraud, unquote. You think? But that's not the funny part. The funny part? The business uh, officers called newspapers in and around the area where they have that office building, including Guadalajara newspapers and uh, news radio stations and reported their own deaths, claiming 
to be police officers, Mexican police officers, and hey, uh, El Comprende, uh, Americana, we're dead, or at least these these guys are dead. And of course, the police have no record of this. Uh, nobody has any record of these these uh, two officers of that business being dead, let alone their remains being discovered, let alone the ID that was supposedly attached to their remains. So we have a fake mine with a fake business opportunity issuing what is uh, essentially fake uh, uh, stock options working in fake offices, two of them, so I guess we can get that five, five, uh, five fake is with a fake police officer calling newspapers faking their deaths. Fakes! <sighs> Fucking hilarious! Ah. You know, when it comes to investing in a mine, a mineral mine, let alone a gold and, and silver mine, if it's a working producing mine, they don't want any more investors. If they're making a profit, the last thing all of the previous investors want are more investors. They will buy their own or, um, available stock at whatever um, going rate is. They don't want any more people taking uh, profit away from their dividends and their shares. And if it's a prospect and not a mine, that means it is not producing. Anybody out there who invests in a prospect that is uh, a hole in the ground that is not extracting minerals and not producing a decent profit, that is called a prospect, not a mine, you're an idiot. Just saying.